How good is that? Hey guys, Chandler here, and we are about to feed some of our biggest alligators here at Australia Zoo. This is my favorite job in the world. Let's get into it. Good work. There you go. There you go. How cool is Daisy? So Daisy's one of our original alligators here at the zoo. So this is about as big as female alligators will get. So you can see we're in the middle of nesting season two. So at the back of her pond area, she has her nest. So she is a little bit more aggressive because she's protecting her nest. Are you still keen? You want one more piece of food? There you go. Beautiful. <laughs> I think she's full now. Should we go feed our other alligators? Good work. Good work, sweetheart. Good work, you can do it. Woo! <laughs> so in here we have one of the legendary Fang Sisters. Now you may recognize the Fang Sisters from the old Crocodile Hunter series. They are incredible. And we're about to meet the other Fang Sister in with Barney, our biggest alligator here at Australia Zoo. Aren't they special? They're just modern day dinosaurs, unchanged from prehistoric times. My favorite animal, I love them. Barney, you want a piece of food? No? <laughs> well, that went well. Oh, how cool is that sound? So alligators are actually one of the most vocal crocodilians, even one of the most vocal reptiles on planet Earth. So you can see, as I get close to him, he's the big man in this area, and he wants to let us all know. So you'll hear that loud hissing noise, and how he makes that noise, he doesn't actually have vocal cords, he's actually sucking air in and out of his lungs. And they can hiss, they can growl, they can grunt, they can even do amazing displays in the water just with vibrations and sucking that air in and out. So Barney has been part of our Australia Zoo family for many years now, and he was actually named by Steve many years ago. So check out this footage of Steve introducing Barney to us all. Our new big bloke alligator is ready for his first feed, and we still have to pick a name for him. How's your feed? Oh, he's oh yeah. Fence. Fresh chicken. There How's this? Wow. Oh, he's got a big head. Here he comes. Come on, little baby alligator. Come on, swallow me, gator. He looks like Barney. He does look like Barney, doesn't he? He does look like Barney. Hey, come on, he's not pink. Call him Barney? Barney, that's it. It's official. Barney's full. He's full. Come on, Barney. I reckon alligators are like frogs with sharp teeth. Displacement. We could fool the audience here. Ah, he's got me late! Ah! Ah! So now that we've fed some of our bigger alligators here at the zoo, let's go meet one of our little ones. Alligators are one of my favorite animals. I just love them. And how could you not love them? They have this cute little chubby squishy belly. It's so soft. They have the cutest little thighs here. And they also are always smiling. They're always in a good mood and they have those adorable little frog eyes poking up. So, American alligators, obviously, are found in America. They're found along the Mississippi River all the way over to Florida, where they have the highest population down there. Now, growing up in Florida, these guys were all over the place, in lakes, rivers, and it was so special growing up with a modern-day dinosaur right in my backyard. You can see along his jawline and his top jaw, there are these little tiny black dots. Those are called integumentary sensors. Now integumentary sensors are little receptors that pick up on vibrations in and out of the water. Their role as apex predators is potentially the most important in an ecosystem. 
they're like the roof of the house. They ensure that there's healthy population numbers of fish and birds, and they maintain that balance in an ecosystem so not one species overpopulates and takes over. Here at Australia Zoo, Oberon is a bit of a legend. He is a superstar. You can catch him in our Crocosseum show, Swimming Out. We like to play a little joke saying that we have one of our big saltwater crocodiles coming out. And then Oberon, even though he thinks he's 14 foot long and ferocious, he's only a couple feet long, so when he swims out instead of the crocodile, it always creates a big laugh in the crowd, and he does awesome. He'll swim right out of the water, bolt towards us, and get a nice big piece of food. So he's happy and is demonstrating natural behavior in the wild that alligators would use. He is a superstar and he's such a special part of our Australia Zoo family. I hope you guys really enjoyed learning a little bit more about alligators, learning about how much I love them and felt so lucky to grow up with them. And you don't have to leave loving alligators, but I hope you can leave this video appreciating them a little bit more. They're so special, modern day dinosaurs, and I just love them. More animals, more staff, and more stories. Click on the links to see more videos just like this, and don't forget to subscribe.